Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And the other day, a person asked me how to make grains of a wood. Uh, they were going to line something with it, make it look like grains. And I did a video where I did actually do the uh, artistic media tool with a brush stroke. And I started thinking about it. You could play around with something like this and make it look like grains of wood. And your artistic ability would come out. So what I did, I just took a two-point line. And drew a straight line. I'm going to convert that line to one and a half points and make it black. And then I'm going to control D and make that line just a little bit apart. I'm going to control D quite a few times. And let me zoom in here so you can see this. Control D and just move it down, and then you could actually move them down twice, you know, or do, do numbers of things. But I'm just going to do this, and you can always group this or select it and control D, and then you can move the whole thing down. That way you could have a little space between some. Maybe put that one back up, and then control D. But anyway, and then you would group this together. Go up to range in group or control G or I have mine set on just G. And then there's a number of things you number of things you could do with the shape tool. You could attract and I would say put put your rate on real small and do like this. And if you move your mouse while you're doing that, it'll kind of do that. Let me zoom in here a little bit. Maybe you can see a little bit better on the screen. So that's the attract button. And, and then you could go to your repel button and you could repel some of them. Uh, that would be pretty cool. And the longer you stay there, the more it's going to do it. So I'm going to go real fast and then I'm going to go slow and you can see how it does that. I'm not particularly happy with that one. So you redo it and you can go up and down and get all these different configurations. You can use the swirl tool. And there again, I'd set my rate real low. And you could swirl some of these. That makes it look like grains of wood. And you can actually move that while you're doing it. Uh, your artistic ability would really shine if you wanted to play with this. And then, of course, you could keep that and use it for other things. You could actually make a brush stroke out of that. You could, you know, put a knot hole in it. Let's just not holding down the control button. Of course, I draw everything in. So let's just make it black and take away the outline. You can make knot holes, you know, in it. Let's zoom in a little bit. And you could make it not perfectly round by using the, you know, the swirl tool real quick. That didn't really do anything, but you could use the attract tool and attract it or repel it. Of course, my, the reason it's doing that is because my thing is too big. So let's just make it point zero one. Two, click on it, make it a little bit smaller, and then you could repel it away. Maybe that's too small. 1.02. And you could, well, you get the idea. I probably need to make it a little bit bigger still. And you can always go up, up this way. There's our nibs a little bit bigger. And you could make this knot hole not look so uniform by dragging it off let's um let's do the repel anyway you, you get my idea it's really not big enough so you could make it a little bit bigger and then make it look like a knot hole and then you could also do this you could left click right click and then you could contour that go up to uh, effects contour we're going to contour to the inside, uh, four steps, hit apply. That kind of looks like a knot hole. I would make it something other than a hairline. So let's make it a half a point. That looks pretty good. And if you save that, and you could, you know, you could do other things. You could ungroup it. Then you could select some of them. With your Alt key, 
you could just select these right here, go down and make them a little bit thicker. They're at 1.5. You can make them two, you know, make it a little bit thicker. Take the alt key, holding it down and, and grabbing those. Click on it, make it two. And that looks pretty much like a piece of wood. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching.